Hello learners, today I am going to share my views on lesson plans for each content unit competency. What is a lesson plan? Lesson plan is a teaching tool that helps the teachers in deciding what to teach, why to teach, when to teach and how to teach in classroom while teaching. A lesson plan is a written guide for trainers plans in order to achieve the intended learning outcomes. It provides specific definition and direction on learning objectives, equipments, instructional media, material requirements and conduct of the training. These definitions of lesson plan are given by education dictionary. Purpose of lesson plan why lesson plan is important for teachers for teachers it is purposeful as it is used as guide for the teacher that is they don't have to think on their feet gives the teacher a starting point and they build on previous teaching and prepare for coming lessons it provides direction to the teachers that is they are clear on the procedure to follow for their teaching it gives teacher a sense of security and confidence that is so that they don't lose face in front of their learners it helps keep good classroom management that is when a lesson works well students not only learn they behave also classroom management plus well designed lesson achieves the students achievement at higher level for the learner lesson plan is required because they realize that the teacher cares for their learning they attend a structured lesson easier to assimilate they appreciate their teachers work as a model of well organized work to intimate characteristics of lesson plan the lesson plan should have following four characteristics first one is objective based a lesson plan should be objective based a limited number of objectives pertaining to a lesson which could be realized within the time available in a period should be determined Second characteristic of lesson plan is comprehensive. A lesson plan should be comprehensive, brief and simple. All your efforts for realization of the set objectives may be reflected in the lesson plan. As far as possible, this must be short and precise so that you can prepare and use it with ease. The next characteristic of lesson plan is flexible. A lesson plan should be flexible with the scope to incorporate changes that would be instantly required at the time of transacting the teaching learning activities in the classroom. For example, you may have come across a recent development in science which is not indicated in the lesson plan and you realize that you must share this to make a concept relevant then you can immediate incorporate this in the lesson plan for better classroom transaction and the last characteristic of lesson plan is implementable a lesson plan must be practical that is can be implemented in real situation the teaching learning activities and strategies proposed in the lesson plan should be beneficial to the students and can be implemented within the stipulated available time. Why is lesson planning important? This is important because being clear on what you want to teach, being ready to cope with whatever happens give your teaching a framework an overall shape 
a reminder for the teacher when they get distracted. It suggests a level of professionalism and real commitment. Why to consider when designing a lesson plan? Firstly, while designing a lesson plan, we must consider about our students, that is, their ability and interest level, their background, their attention spans, their ability to work together in groups, their broad knowledge and learning experiences, their special needs or accommodations, their learning preferences. And second is to know about the content, that is the subject matter that you will be teaching. State, school, district curriculum guides, national, state curriculum standards. We must know the material which are used for the lesson plan, that is technology software, audio visual aids, teacher mentors, community resources, equipment, library resources and local guest speakers. Key components of a lesson plan. The key components of lesson plan are firstly profile and objectives. Next one is material, oblique equipments. Next one is procedure and assessment. Now we discuss first profile basic information about the lesson name of the lesson contributor subject grade level of the lesson and the instructional setting that is small group or in a whole class and the journal description of the lesson are discussed second is objective that is to determine what you want students to learn and to able to do and focus on the concept or skills which you intend to teach. For example, organize, design and prototype content rich websites that are easy to navigate and search. The next key component is materials and equipments. In materials, a lesson plan we use PowerPoint presentations, textbooks, journal articles, multimedia materials in which instructional video or audio, rubric and checklist. In equipments, commonly used instructional equipments available for the instructor is software applications, PowerPoint, media player, computer equipment, computer, internet connection, video equipment and projector. And the next component is procedure. In procedure, first step is outlining the steps of the teaching process. Then useful instructional strategies and last one is using the appropriate technique in your lesson plan. Assessment. Assess the outcome and to what extent the objectives are were achieved. Ensure the assessment activity is directly and explicitly tied to the stated objectives. Take time to reflect upon the result and revise the lesson plan accordingly. Some commonly used assessment activities are which a teacher can use in the classroom is quiz, test, independently performed worksheets, cooperative learning activities, hands on experiments, oral discussion and question and answer sessions. Faces that a lesson plan contains. A lesson plan contains the description of the activities to be performed by a teacher and the students in the classroom during the transaction of a lesson. These activities may be divided into three phases namely 
preactive phase that is preparatory activities prior to teaching learning second one is interactive phase that is activities undertaken during teaching and learning and the third phase is post active phase in which activities performed after teaching learning in pre active phase some steps define it elaborately first one is specification of learning outcomes the objectives expected to be realized through teaching learning of the intended lesson are specified in students behavioral term first in the lesson plan second is provision of teaching learning activities and strategies the methods and strategies to be used in the teaching learning of the lesson are indicated in the lesson plan the details of activities such as group activity discussion written work and observation etc for the three stages of the plan are specified and the next is sequencing and time scheduling of activities this is also a part of pre active process the teaching and learning activities selected for the lesson need to be arranged in a definite order which would help in conducting the activities in the classroom further time required for conducting each of these activities need to be decided so that one can visualize the number of activities that can be conducted during the entire period and during each phase of the lesson second phase is interactive phase that is the activities during teaching and learning this part is divided into three steps namely first one is introduction second is presentation and the last one is evaluation in first introduction this is the beginning of the teaching learning at the time of starting the teaching learning of a new lesson you must have a clear idea about students previous learning experiences based on their previous learning experiences you can create interest in them and motivate them for learning a new topic for this you may conduct a small and meaningful activity as far as possible relating to the new lesson to be taught hence through such introduction activities you help the students get their previous learning strengthen and make them interested and motivated for learning the new lesson second part is presentation this is the central part of the lesson plan all the plan teaching learning activities relating to the lesson are organized in this step you need to provide situation for students to perform activities in the class and to facilitate the acquisition of prescribed competences for strengthening their new learning you may engage them in reinforcement activities in this step you should plan carefully to ensure that each and every student participate in the activities either individually or in group as planned when required you may directly explain and teach the students by telling stories making illustrations explaining the difficult concepts with examples etc and the next part is assessment this is the last part of the lesson plan approximately in the last 5 minutes you need to assess to what extent the students have achieved the learning outcomes set in the lesson for this you may ask some objective type questions pertaining to the learning objectives of the lesson to be answered orally by the students
post teaching learning activity this is the third phase of lesson plan in which activities performed after teaching learning that is home assignment or homework should be given to the students and the revision of the content must be done advantages of lesson plan why lesson plan is fruitful for teacher as well as for students that is it purpose full teaching second variety of teaching techniques are used in lesson plans effective utilization of time it involves wide range of activities it developing low cost or no cost materials it involves student in the classroom that is students involvement is required and the last one is assessment which is a part of lesson plan lesson planning advice that is what a teacher should do while planning a lesson and what a teacher should not to do while planning that is point should be kept in mind while planning a lesson that is a teacher must do in which lesson plan should be specific lesson plan should involve anticipate problems lesson plan should be decided timing that is it should be sum up within a period of time lesson plan have materials ready to use and file your plan for the future and the steps that a teacher should avoid while planning a lesson is avoid too many details don't use complex terms or words let us sum up learning outcomes of lesson plan that is the behavioral outcomes which we want our students to modify their behavior that is cognitive outcomes in which intellectual outcomes that is they involve the application of facts theories and concepts in psychomotor outcomes they describe skills the learners develops that is physically and the third one is affective outcomes in which they describe feelings and attitudes which shape our behavior towards people work and our world that is behavioral changes thank you students